Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this will be a monthly tarot reading for my Scorpios. Happy birthday Scorpios and I decided to start with you for this month as my first reading. Uh, I want you to know that before recording the reading I always meditate and I ask spirit for guidance. And so let's see what spirit has to say for this month for you my Scorpios for the month of November 2018. We have the Eight of Pentacles, just push a little bit, Four of Rocks, the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Page of Rods, or sorry, the Knight of Rods, the Knight of Rods, and the last one is the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so you're definitely working into manifesting uh, your dreams, and through that, there will be some type of recognition this month for you, my Scorpios. I think you know, uh, over this spirit with um, Jupiter in your sign and some other transit. Uh, some of you, some of my Scorpio felt or, you know, probably were somehow isolated. But while you were isolated, you have been working specifically quietly uh, while nobody was looking at you and nobody was wondering uh, what was happening with you. You have been working really, really hard. We have the Eight of Pentacles. You've been working hard because with just next to, to this card, we have the Four of Rods. I feel that you want a new beginning in your life in your foundation, in your family. Maybe you want to um, buy a house or you want to move, you want to relocate, but this is a new change in terms of your vision for your happiness because also the Ten of Cups is there. So I feel that for some of my Scorpios this month for November 2018, it's actually the first time or it could, it could be the beginning of you seeing the manifestation of your wishes in terms of um, what you envision for, it's very personal for your personal life. Maybe you want to travel, you want to have a home business, uh, you want to work on your education, you want to work on your family, maybe you have fine new family, You've, you see yourself into a new marriage, you have new in-laws, new people coming in your relationship in November, and you want to finally work on that. You find yourself being surrounded with love and security, the four of, of rods is security, and that allows you to build because now you have the support that you need it, okay? Uh, I think if it's not happening in uh, your lives, for some of you, Scorpios, that will be happening next month. Um, you know, Venus being retrograde, and it's going to be, you know, um, I think retrograde, and even it's, it's going to be forward, or I should say the retrograde will stop around the 16th of February. It will go direct, but it still has to cross back the degrees that it was when it started uh, going uh, back. So that is a shadow period. So during that shadow period, I think some of you will come up with uh, possibilities of finally finalizing some goals. You may be offered some things that you have not envisioned yourself doing. But for the month of November 2018, you have that new self-confidence into your abilities and your skills. Maybe because you have been, even if you had a job, you have been, have, you know, you had a part-time job. You have been doing something on the low quietly. Uh, it could be in terms of your health. You have been working really hard and getting in shape. Or you have been working really hard and saving money. Or you have been working hard in... Uh, yeah, and at work and trying to build a relationship or um, trying to create a, a new type of uh, uh, surrounding around you. So because I feel that last month in October, some of you may still be finishing this this month in November. There will be ending and like some long overdue ending. Those are ending that you're so looking forward. You cannot wait to turn 
your back at some things, some place, maybe a country, maybe a city. Yes, of course, people in your li- people in your life, or maybe a past self, uh, undoing behavior. And now you just want to change. And I think that for some of you, my Scorpios, for the month of November, there will be someone coming in your life, like someone from the past, of course, because of the retrograde. But it could be also that someone that's been around, but there were no, not no deep sentimental connection because the love is really screaming really loud and clear, like loud and clear. And I mean, like some deep connection, like very sexual attraction because the nine of rods is kind of like he's in the middle of uh the seven of pentacles and a three of pentacles because the energy that you have around you to manifest what you want is like limitless and so right now uh you may bring you know you may you know bring some admirers Uh, towards you some people who see your transformation or some people who see you manifesting or you you on your own being strong and um resourceful okay i do feel that some of you with three of pentacles will make some type of changes in your appearance uh it could be that now you just you feel better so you finally want to do something uh with your your look your hair uh, it could be that you're changing color, you're cutting your hair. There's some definitely physical transformation. And if it's not a physical transformation, it could be that you're just feeling so good in your body. Uh, you feel good. Um, health-wise, also, I feel that some of you could be at a peak. Uh, even if you haven't... Because, see, we're just coming out of the 12th house. The 12th house is like a house where it's like really... Sometimes also it represents sickness, but it's a, like a very self-undoing hidden house, you know, that could represent, uh, you know, addiction or, uh, you know, addiction with sex, addiction with drugs and alcohol, some type of thing. So it, I feel that some of you or just, just there's an amount of balance between, you know, leisure and business that you find yourself because the ten of Pente- the ten of uh, cups is here, and that's about leisure. It's good fun. It's mutual um, love and partnership. It's something you know that you share. Which is there's two people on the card, but uh, it could involve a lot of people. You find yourself where you have a lot of you know admirers, uh, where your 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 words bring results, where people are looking for your advices, where you know. I think that you have been connected to some type of uh, spiritual ritual or maybe you did some type of uh, meditation. The work that you have done when we see the seven of pentacles, uh, the seven of pentacles and the eight of pentacles is within yourself. And it's also work that you have done alone. Like I said, we're coming out of the 12th house. Uh, And so maybe prayers, prayers works, uh, some type of uh you know new healing method that you have been trying but i feel that whatever you have been trying you did it on your own though there's something that you you could have kept it to yourself you just decided to do something and it's just working it's manifesting love is coming around a house there's something related to um real estate it could be that you're moving it could be that you know maybe you were not fully happy with your living arrangement and now in november there's some changes where you coming out very strong where you are now really able to uh expand your living arrangement it like i said it could be a, a relocation a move it could also be connected to a faraway places somehow some way okay um now what i i would say close to the end of the month there's a possibility that you know you might have to review something or redo not redo but you might have to um look at something that you already done that you thought you were um convinced or you have made a decision something that you were sure and certain i feel that there could be a you know you could be coming back to a previous choices that you made you could be now because the situation the energy is very different from october to november november is going to be like you know, those two months, night and day. So there's something that you have thought of doing that you may hold back. You wanted to do really, really, really 
quickly or it could be that something that you know that you that you thought you didn't need you're gonna have a very short a short time to do okay the nine of rods like it's it's in a rush rush to do something uh, okay, I just lost power, uh, which does happen from time to time here in Panama. But I'm going to end this reading here, my Scorpios. I love you.